Hello friends, my name is Alyssa and I'm the Science Program Manager at Boston Children's Museum. I'm part of the STEAM team and that stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. And today we're going to do my favorite kind of STEAM project. The kind that you can eat. Here's the things you'll need to make your Play-Doh. Marshmallows, cornstarch, powdered sugar, also known as confectioner sugar, coconut oil, and, if you want to, food coloring. You will also need a couple of containers. One of them needs to be microwave safe some measuring spoons, and one or two regular spoons. Start by measuring three tablespoons of cornstarch and one tablespoon of powdered sugar into a container and set it aside. Then measure one tablespoon of coconut oil. Coconut oil is funny stuff. It starts off as a solid, but as it gets warmed up, it melts. And then put in your five marshmallows. Now you may notice that this container is way bigger than you would need for just five marshmallows. But here's the thing. When you heat up marshmallows, they get bigger. So make sure your container is big enough to contain the puffing up marshmallows. Then you're going to put this container in the microwave and you're going to watch it like a hawk. You're going to microwave it for 30 seconds, but you're only going to do it in three to five seconds at a time. When the marshmallows puff up, stop the microwave, let them settle down and do it again. Your marshmallows are going to be really hot. So be careful and use a spoon to kind of stir them with the coconut oil into a lump. This is the time to add your food coloring if you want it. Once you've got a marshmallow lump, Drop it into your container of cornstarch and sugar. Coat the whole thing with the powdered mixture and then just wait a moment for it to cool. Once it's cool enough for you to touch, just start kneading it, just like you would bread dough. I've noticed that the Play-Doh doesn't last for a really long time, like the kind of Play-Doh you can buy. But when you're done with it, or even as part of your playing, you can eat it. You can see that five marshmallows doesn't make a whole lot of Play-Doh, but you could try making a few batches in a few different colors. And if you do, please send us photographs or video of the marshmallow Play-Doh that you made. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to follow us on social media and subscribe to us on YouTube. Just click the big red button. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time.